Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope video hop. This month, Amanda sent out the mystery envelope and in it contained some cutouts. These are from the Layered Leaves Thin Cuts and then she stamped a whole bunch of images from the One of Those Days stamp set and she fussy cut them all for us, which was very nice. Thank you, Amanda. Um, her rules are that I may add anything else that I want to create my project. And one requirement is that I highlight coloring a stamped image or coloring and shading the thin cuts. Okay. And it doesn't have to be the leaves. I can use other thin cuts, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the leaves. So my coloring technique is with the new colored pencils. These are from Colorista by Spectrum Noir, and they will be available beginning September 1st in the new Essentials catalog. So I'm going to speed this up pretty quick in a minute, and uh, we're just going to lay some color down, and then I'll show you how to blend it using um, a product that uh, I'll, I'll leave a link where to, to find this product, okay? So I'm just laying color down, and uh, these are great colored pencils for the, the price point. They've got a nice amount of pigment to them, and they're really easy to work with. So I'm just laying color down, and then the product I'm going to use to blend with is called Gamsol. It's a mineral spirit, and I'm using blending stumps. Okay, so I'll leave a link below where you can find this product. And you just dip the end of your blending stump into the Gamsol until it soaks up just enough in the tip. And you just start using it to blend over the color. And it will work with the wax that's laid down from the colored pencil and just smooth everything out uh, to take away those coloring lines. And you can also use it to blend colors together to create some shading. But I'm just using it on this particular image to smooth out all of my coloring lines and get a nice coating of color on this image. So we'll just continue blending. And I like to blot it off on a scratch piece of paper. And then uh, when you're changing colors, if it's in the same color family, I just blot it off on a, a scratch piece of paper. But if I'm changing colors completely, you can uh, kind of shave it off on uh, a piece of sanding paper and then you can switch to a different a completely different color and continue using your blending stump and you can also use uh, sandpaper to sharpen your blending stump as well so i'm going to continue on with this image and i've sped the video up super fast it's, it's a really quick and easy coloring um, laying down color on the fox and then adding uh, orange and yellow to the leaves and then we'll just go in with the blending stump and smooth out the color and I'm going lightly with the blending and, and the gamsol because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to affect the stamped image uh, so I'm not using a ton of it okay moving on I have an Altenew ultra sticky mat and this is basically it's made from stamp material, so it's a smooth stamp without the stamp image carved into it. And it's sticky, just sticky enough to hold on to die cuts and uh, stencils. So I've just laid this down on my Versamat, and it's gripping my Versamat. And then I've got my die cuts, and it's gripping the die cuts. So I'm using uh, some paprika and a blending brush. And just uh, first, I'm using toffee and a blending brush and just adding color to the stems of these leaves. And then I'll go in with some paprika and add color to the leaves. So one will be a little bit darker. And then the next color I'll use is Sundance. So you can add as much or as little color as you like. So change the color of your leaves. And then um, the sticky mat comes clean with a stamp chamois. It, you just treat it like a stamp to clean it. And then if it ever loses its stickiness, just run it under some warm water and use a little bit of soap. 
I just use hand soap that's next to the sink and, and clean it off and get rid of any little bits of paper that are keeping it from being sticky. Okay, so now I've got a piece of toffee cut at four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to do some stenciling. This is stencil, a stencil from Stencil Pack One, and it will stick to the ultra sticky mat. So the edges of the stencil that are over the edges of that piece of toffee will uh, stick to the, to the ultra sticky mat, and then you can stencil. Okay, so I'm just doing tone on tone, toffee on toffee, and I have a, a larger blending brush, and I'm just going to blend around, and we're going to get this wood grain image. So this is a background piece, so I'm just laying down some color, and um, pretty easy, not being completely precise. I'm just laying down color and getting it in those openings of the stencil. And I'll pull the stencil off, wipe it down with my chamois, and then we're ready to move on. Okay. All right. So I am going to use the die cut from the Cozy Up Card Making Workshop Kit. Okay, so I'm going to use this circle die. It's kind of a, a scribble circle. And I'm going to cut out the circle in mocha. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of mix-in. This is kind of, it's a honey butter pattern. And I'm going to cut it again. And instead of using the scribble circle, I'm going to use that uh, inside piece. So I'm going to set it up like a, an inlay. And then my base is going to be paprika, so I'm going to cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's our basic card design. Okay, so I'm going to cut out my sentiment. It says just one of those days. And I'll trim that down and then I'll dovetail each end. Okay, so to dovetail, you just cut vertically in the center and then take each corner to meet that snip. Okay. So now we can start building our card. I have a card base from the value pack. That's an A2 size and smoothing it out with a bone folder. And then I'm just going to put things down using the Mono Air Touch tape runner from Tombow. And line up that mix in, place that down, and then I'll add that scribble circle on top. And it just pops right in there like a puzzle piece. And I'm going to add that with some wet glue. And then we'll lay down those uh, die cut leaves. They're going to be tucked underneath the fox. Just like that. Okay, so we'll glue that, those down as well, the leaves. And then we'll add our piece using some foam tape and our sentiment also with some foam tape. So cute. Some fun fall autumn colors. And then to finish it off I'm going to add some dots. First I thought I was going to use some from the red dot pack but then I decided to use the yellow dots. And these are kind of a honey butter Sundance sort of colored dot. And I'll just scatter a bunch of those around. And we'll call that one done. Saw some close-up shots in a second. It's so cute. So you don't have to take a ton of time to color an image in. You come together really quickly with those colored pencils. Okay. 
Let's make another one and we're going to do springtime colors. Okay, so I'm going to color in this, I think it's a bird. Um, <laughs> I'm going to color it in, yeah, it's a bird, using um, yellow and then we'll color the little leaves around him in uh, greens and we'll use the gamsol. So I, obviously I've sped this up super fast. It's the same process as the last one, just coloring with colored pencils and then go over all the color using some gamsol and just, just a slight amount there because I don't want to take a chance that the ink is going to smear with the image. And then I want it to brighten up the yellow just a little bit. So I used a brighter color yellow and get those to blend together. And we're done. Okay, same process. I'm going to add some ink to these leaves and I'm going to use some new colors. These are available now. I'm going to use Limeade and Jade. So for the stems, I'm going to add some Jade using a blending brush. And I'm going to go into the bottom portion of those leaves. And then we'll add some Limeade to the leaves themselves. And you'll never know that these were white to start with. <laughs> they blend nicely. Give enough contrast and definition to the leaves so that it almost looks like light is hitting them. Okay, we'll call those done and clean up the sticky mat with our stamp chamois. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of Limeade cardstock. This is the light side. And I'm using another stencil from that same stencil pack one. And this one has uh, sort of tropical leaves on it. And I'm going to stencil tone on tone. So I'm going to use Limeade ink on the light side of Limeade. So we'll start blending in. That color and the pattern will start to show. Bright green colors. And again, I'm I'm not going too evenly with all the colors because I do want them to kind of have a little difference and uh, definition to each of those leaves. So just going over the stencil. get some color down. And then I'm just using the residual jade ink that's on the blending brush and adding some darker green to some of the larger uh, rounded leaves on the stencil. Just to give them a little more definition. Okay, and here's the reveal. We'll get the stencil cleaned up with the stamp chamois. And then we're ready to move on. Okay, so I'm going to use the same die from Cozy Up uh, Card Making Workshop. And I'm going to cut some of the new Journey and some Jade. And so I'm going to use the regular side of Journey and the light side of Jade. And we'll cut those out. Moving on, my sentiment is going to come from the August stamp of the month, and I'm going to use the Hello sentiment. We still have a few more days to get this stamp set. It's $5 with any $50 purchase, and I'm going to stamp it out in Journey. Okay, and then I'll trim around it and dovetail each end of my sentiment. And this uh, cardstock color that I used, it's the light side of Honey Butter. And it's pretty close to the color that I colored that bird with all the yellows. Okay, so I have a card base and I'll just start assembling the same way using some Tombow tape runner. I'm going to layer those up and then I'm going to use the inlay of the light side of Jade and place that down and then place that scribble circle around it. That's in uh, Journey. We'll lay those leaves down, glue those down with some wet glue, 
and then we'll add that bird with some foam tape. Same design as the other card. Looks quite different though because the colors are so bright and different. So we have a spring one and a fall one. Get the little bird down, add the sentiment with some foam tape. And then we'll finish it off with some dots from the new color called Journey. And those will be available starting September 1st. So I will put a playlist at the end of this video that will include all of the other Makers with Heart mystery envelope videos. Curious to see what kinds of projects they made with these same supplies that Amanda sent out to all of us. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. I'll make a list of all the supplies that I use to make these two cards with links in the description below. And don't forget to click on that playlist to see what everyone else did. And thanks for watching.